This morning, we're looking at how one car accident can result in more than $700,000 in medical bills, even with medical and car insurance. In our, continu in our continuing Bill of the Month partnership with Kaiser Health News and NPR, we examine unexpected medical costs. When Mark Gottlieb was hit by another car while driving, he damaged four vertebrae and smashed several teeth, despite having a quarter of a million dollars in personal injury protection from his auto insurer and medical insurance. His medical insurance was unable to cover the remaining balance. A car basically came out of nowhere, went through a uh, red light, thought I was going to die. Mark Gottlieb was injured in a car accident in January of 2019. His Geico car insurance plan covered $250,000 of medical care. After physical therapy and other treatments that Geico covered, Mark needed spinal surgery. He thought he would be covered by the money left in his plan. There was no pain compared to when the bills came. But the hospital and surgeon's bills totaled over $700 thousand dollars. Geico negotiated both bills down substantially and paid more than 150000 toward Gottlieb's charges before his plan was exhausted, leaving him on the hook for about $90,000 for the surgeon's bill. I figured it would be a um, quarter million dollars is a lot of insurance. It didn't make any sense how that could happen. Extremely blindsided. Gottlieb submitted the surgeon Bill's balance to Aetna, his health insurance. Aetna told us that it offered to pay the standard rate of care under Gottlieb's policy. But because the surgeon and his office were out of network, he would still owe over $4,000 to meet his deductible. So he withdrew his request for Aetna's coverage. After this experience, he fears seeking any additional treatment to help with his existing back pain, even from an in-network doctor. I am doing absolutely nothing. I'll take extra strength Tylenol. You know, the last thing I want to see happen is I go to the doctor regarding this and I end up getting some humongous bill. I have a huge fear because of what happened. Hudson Regional Hospital said in a statement that it charged the state mandated fee for all applicable services to Mr. Gottlieb and for the balance of his care, the charges were reasonable. The surgeon and his office, Bergen Pain Management, have not pursued Gottlieb for the almost $90,000 outstanding bill. Joining us now is Dr. Elizabeth Rosenthal, the editor-in-chief of Kaiser Health News. Doctor, good morning. Thanks for being with us. As if back pain wasn't bad enough, uh, this is excruciating. Uh, what what can we learn from uh, yeah. Mr. Gottlieb's story? Well, um, there are a lot of things you can learn. That health insurance and car insurance protection don't play very well together, first of all. And uh, when you get in a car crash, there are there are just endless minefields. And Mr. Gottlieb, poor Mr. Gottlieb, hit almost all of them. Yeah. When, when you say they don't play very well together, what do you mean? How does auto insurance work versus health insurance here? Well, the, the first thing to know is if you're in an accident um, and you have personal injury protection insurance through your auto insurer, that kicks in first. So that pays the first part of the bill. Um, but they work really differently. Um, first of all, they have smaller networks. Um, in some states, including New Jersey, they have set rates they pay for procedures. Mm -hmm. But if, if the surgeon and the hospital add a few things that aren't on the rate list, they can charge whatever they want. The sky's the limit, and that's what happened to Mr. Gottlieb. And then when it kicked over into his health insurance, the health insurer had different networks. So the doctors who'd been treated treating him were out of network. So once again, yeah. no help from your health insurance. You say if it's not an emergency proce procedure, patients should get price estimates from their medical facilities. Explain why that's so important. Well, I say they should try because at least and get it in writing and don't get it. You know, a lot of people will tell me, well, uh, you know, I went to the, I called the billing office and they said, don't worry. And in fact, Mr. Gottlieb did ask someone at the doctor's office and they said, oh, it will never, you know, go blow through a quarter of a million dollars. But it did. So you have to get it in writing from the finance office. And then at least you have something to fight with. Look, I have an estimate here in my hand. Yeah. So honor it. Several states require personal injury protection insurance. If your state doesn't require it, what should you do? 
Well, it's, it really puts consumers in a bind because every state is different. Yeah. Um, PIP, as they call it, it has some advantages in that it's first dollar insurance. That means it will pay immediately, no copays, no deductibles. But it doesn't, it tends not to be big insurance. So if you're in a huge car accident and you need surgery, as Mr. Gottlieb did, uh, you'll exhaust that PIP insurance and it will have to kick over to your health right. insurance. And then you have to know that the network Networks coordinate, and you know when you get in a car accident, you don't know is it going to be a big one or wow. am I just going to have like some stitches? So it puts patients once again in a totally untenable position, and it's just not fair. No, it's not, Dr. Elizabeth Rosenthal. Thank you so much.